Hey Ben, are you gonna press record this time, bro? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, You're never gonna man. live this down. Shame. I love it. Stop smiling so Wait, Let me just get this right. Is this episode four? This, this is episode, episode four. four. Uh, mm. What are you doing today? I'm recording episode four, Tyron and you. I'm with the ball. Oh! <laughs> ra, ra. <laughs> it's like you're going to record a podcast all alone there, Tyron? No, no, no. Oh, I get the reference. You were supposed to say, I'm with the boy. Oh, uh, Ezra, I'm so sorry. I'm just... Uh, that I'm the, was such a good setup. I'm the old man on the <laughs> panel. <laughs> okay. So, uh, welcome, Puzzle Pack. Thanks for tuning in click, again. Click, click, click. Yeah, the Put puzzle pieces. pieces together, merch is coming up in two years. Guys, keep, <laughs> keep subscribing. Well, let's say a thousand subscribers. A thousand subscribers, we're going to do merch. A thousand subs for merch. A hundred subs, subs for, for video. Ezra, Here what's the stats now? How many scra- subs mm. are we on? As of recording, 44. 44. 44 puzzlers. Puzzler Nation, we love you. Thank you. Oh. So after four episodes, we were on 44. Yeah. Ma- if math serves me correct, correct, then we are on 11 subs per, um, per recording. Tyron, it's weekend. Yeah. I don't do maths on weekends. No, I think Jesse, we just need to go full steam. As we're going, just, just keep going at this pace. Okay. I think it's good. It's good. Jesse needs to just jack up on the Merch. getting more subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then King guys, Republic. 150 sub- subs. We're going to do an episode with a live studio audience. Ooh, no, that's oh. bad. That's Ooh. bad. <laughs> like the heck, let's be real. Get trolled, bro. Get and what's the, what's the diversity of that audience? <sighs> what do you mean the diversity of like, the audience? Like, are we going to just have our mates or are we going to have grannies, uh, young people? Uh, no, I haven't. Your, your mom's welcome to join us. <laughs> oh, mommy. She can make us tea and everything. Wait, that sounds bad. Happy Women's Month. Oh, dude. Oh, I can't believe bro. you dropped that joke. Yesterday was Women's Day. <gasps> yes. Oh, man. I need, I need to tell you guys a story. Here we go. So, I guess a mate of mine. Uh, he's, he's also part of the community that we're all involved in. His WhatsApp status yesterday was, Here we go. Um, and, I, and I, re- I really hope he listens to this podcast. It was, uh, to all the single ladies out there, happy Women's Day. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, so is, is, is this supposed to uplift women? I have no idea. Whatever Robin John was thinking when he made that status. <laughs> he's, he's, he's casting out a wide net and I respect it. <laughs> yeah, I respect yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> if you are not Because safe. if Mother's Day is for mothers, uh-huh. then Women's Day... It's for single women. It's for the single women out there. Wow. He just I, made that clarification for everyone. He's like, listen. And I totally forgot yesterday that it was to celebrate the women in my life. I just sure. played golf the whole day. <laughs> yeah. Now the That's like, like when, the when, most manliest like, thing you can do is play golf. <laughs> <laughs> and you did it on women. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, the burn is real. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I, I just want to talk about topic number one today, mm, which I'm mm. really actually excited to just hear all our opinions. Fortnite World Cup happened two weeks back. Sure. And the 16-year-old champion won $3 million. $3 Ooh. million? Dollars? US dollars. That's an insane amount of money, though. Like, absolutely. For a 16-year-old? Like, what are you going to do? Like, buy, like, 20 PlayStations? <laughs> <laughs> Start your own Fortnite club. I don't know. It's like, oh, I, I would man. say buy more versions of Fortnite, but, like, that doesn't work that way. Apparently, some of the runner, runner-ups runner also, like, they walked away with, like, 50 Gs. So the 30 US. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People who didn't even win. Yeah. Genuine. Like, the prize support was real. Well, so, like, wow. there, there was the guy who came in third. He was 13 years old. <laughs> Are you serious? He, he got 900,000 US dollars. Oh my but like, goodness. I, I've, what, a, what a transition in the world in terms of like parents saying, don't game your whole life. You know, what are you going to become? <laughs> You're not going to earn any money. Uh, the 16 year old is saying, mom and dad, how much did you earn last year? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I earned 3 million. Sure. Um, well, g- going, going a bit back, there was like some um, like controversy almost, people hiring Fortnite tutors. For the children. Oh so, you know, just how like, Really? Okay, cool. Little Timmy, you got to get that. You got to get that scholarship for sport, you know, wow. the, the, the tennis scholarship, the, the cricket scholarship. Now, gaming. Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite. Well, it was a comment someone made the other day. It's like, uh, you know, a, a judgment was passed on kids gaming and then all of a sudden now there's money for a sport. But then the, the pers- other person in the room I was in said, well, how come you go and watch a tennis match? And you, you support that lifestyle. Sure, and then sure. the prize money there is, is so huge. But it's exactly the same thing as just gaming. And yeah. I think the next industry the world's going into, Absolutely. if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah. And I think parents might need to just jump on this. And I think, I think at the moment, at the, the World Cup when it happened, the prize support was the most for any game. And then... I think the Dota the tw- Dota International would yeah, be would that, be second. That that no, that actually became first again because the the price. What's support the price package oh. on that? I think it's well over thirty million US. 
But that's team based. Yeah, no, that's team based. So, like, okay. for for example, everyone years ago for the Dota International. So this is the big Dota Championship tie. You probably don't know what Dota is. It's it's, it's, it's a game that people play. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's it's kind of like people describe it as chess meets football mm. type thing. Right? Okay. So. With 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 that in mind, you kick chess the, pieces around. Yeah. So okay. the the no. What? Why did I agree to that? <laughs> now, so the international is the major tournament for that. That prize pool, everyone was losing their minds because it was a one million dollar prize mm. pool total. Sure. But that's now, back in the day. No, no, that's back in the day. That was how many like, years ago are we talking about? Twenty fifteen. Yeah. Ooh. About. Yeah. So it's much much bigger now, but. What makes the Fortnite World Cup unique is that there's one person mm. getting $3 million. <laughs> yeah, in the solos, baby. Where, where sure. you would go to yeah. any other game, would be a team of five? And so like yeah, CSGO, yeah. Dota, all of that, teams and of five. Team based, yeah. Sorry if this is an uneducated question, but could mm. you stream and watch the, the World Cup live? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. So you yeah, could, yeah. You, you could, How else it's would like, they make say money? I'm a, a Federer fan, I'll watch the whole Wimbledon for him and I'll watch all of his games. So you sure. could back a person. Yeah. Um, True, yeah. Yeah. Really, I think I think sure. with uh, what was interesting about the um, Fortnite is yeah, just that that thing you guys are saying solo versus team it gets split up. Mm. Um, I think that's that's massive. That's sure. so huge. It's insane. You must have got taxed though heavily. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! How does that work for a sixteen-year-old? No, no, they they don't pay tax, right? No, they it's the US. To. They 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 don't give it down. Mm. And imagine that guy, <laughs> that guy he just jump started his streaming career. Because yeah. yeah. now everybody who plays Fortnite wants to know what is this guy doing right that he's winning a World Cup. Yeah. Like what techniques, what you know, what cheats, mm. not cheats, but what shortcuts is he using to be the best? Well, speaking of, you know, he just launched his own streaming career. Here we go. Would he be on Twitch or Mixer? Ooh. And speaking of Twitch and oh. Mixer, Ooh. let's talk about Ninja leaving. The sounds, uh, bro. Yeah, Peter, do you want to mm. yeah, give us your you, opinion? You actually right? watch Ninja. Yeah. I used to, wa like, I've completely moved off of Twitch, actually. I used to be really into it last year and the year before. I used to, like, watch a lot of Twitch and various s different streamers. And um, I just, I kind of, like, was on the, how can you say, the the um, the hype train with okay, all yeah, of that. Just yeah, even that the sense. drama. I used to follow a lot of it. And it was, like, really interesting to actually see. And especially with Ninja, with that epic rise with the Drake game, yeah. which oh, really propelled yeah. him into mm. like this status mm -hmm. that, you know, and then... Him and Marshmallow as well. That was here we go. Huge. Yeah. 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 He, he collabed with a few guys. Well. Yeah. And I think there was a, there was a very famous um, footballer that he also, or, or basketball player that he also streamed with. I don't follow basketball. All, yeah, but. sorry. <laughs> I don't either, but it was also very big. People were like joining mm. in for that stream. So what what's always been interesting is that Twitch has had a reputation for not treating their partners really well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There has been a lot of. Yeah. yeah. And and the the drama surrounding that I've been following, and there's specifically like everybody knows about the Alinity drama, oh, and yeah. PewDiePie and Alinity yeah. with everybody else. Yeah. But how some people have favoritism, and other people who are actually because hands down Ninja grinds every day. Yeah. yeah. To to play Fortnite every day. For I don't know how many years. He loses money when he doesn't play. <laughs> he can't take a weekend. Yeah. Well, he couldn't, no. I'm sure you can sometimes, it takes the joy out of it. But just that move mm. for me, for him being one of the top 10 streamers for mm. a long, long time on that platform. Yeah. Having made the amount of money that he's made to move over to Mixer, take a, it's a gamble for him. Yes. Yes, he's got Red Bull on his side, which is obviously a massive yeah. partnership. Yeah. But to make that move, he must have first of all been paid a lot of money by Mixer. A yeah. hell of a lot of money. Um, and then also it shows you that he's not happy with, with that platform. With yeah. Twitch. You know, like if one up. of your biggest content providers or yes. content creators yes. aren't but happy with you. The isn't, face isn't of like, Twitch, essentially. Yeah. Isn't it like a like a 50-50 split or something? I think it is, or like, yeah. Like 30-70 or something? $5 subscription as a subscriber. Um, depending on, I think there is obviously a rating scale. Yes, and then like donations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Else, but yeah. I think the, the subscription gets split 50-50. So what was the subscriber rating? I think he was at... He was at 10 million at, at really? his peak. Not, not subscribers though, huh? No, subscribers. He was the first to 10 million. No, I think followers. No, paying subscribers. I'm pretty... So the sure. highest I've seen was Shroud, yeah? who broke the record, and he was 100,000. Paying oh, okay. subscribers, okay, no, then I must have but still, still yeah. he was just under that. So, yeah. if you think about it, <laughs> if there's a hundred thousand people paying five dollars a month mm. to be your sub, 
you're walking yeah. away with like 50% like of that a quarter of a million yeah. US a month wow for that month w- what's insane though is to see the carryover wow. rate so like we discussed that um, he obviously has some sort of deal with Mixer which is run by mm-hmm. Microsoft by the way because yes. that's their thing yes, yes. Um, he already has a million subscribers and with how Mixer works you also pay for subscriptions apparently it is totally different from Twitch That's they claim that okay but um, the one weird thing, though, is that for like the first three months or for the first month or so or something, if you want to subscribe to Ninja, you can do that for free. Oh, wow. So what's interesting is how many of that million people that subscribe to him will remain subscribed after the okay. free period. Uh, okay. okay. So it's a quick free subscription, yes, but then yeah. you get... Just to mm. contextualize, um, mm. Ninja's or the people he has worked, in, worked with, as you said, it's Drake, mm-hmm. um, Travis Scott, oh, and then wow. Juju Smith-Schuster. Uh, it's an interesting surname. Uh, uh, oh. He's an American footballer, okay. wide receiver oh. for Pittsburgh Here we Steelers. Go. That's the guy. Uh, I know. And yeah. um, another thing, just to say about the amount of money this guy makes, is that uh, Ninja was paid one million dollars by Electronic Arts to promote Apex Legends on one of his streams. Yes, oh. I remember. That was so controversial. That's what yeah. he played. Yeah. Hey, for, for a million, a million dollars is a million dollars. Like and he, like, oh. people often feel like, oh no, my favorite creator just sold out. Yeah. It's and he's their business, and he's got a charity. That's oh, pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I've, I, th- I think if suicide they, prevention charity. Sorry, yeah. I just throw that in there. I, I think that one one of the creators on YouTube also said that if you want someone to promote your platform, that is the face. You yeah. want Ninja to promote your platform wow. just because of his character, the person, that he, the color of his hair. <laughs> We're busy promoting him on our podcast. Yeah. The, the the way he pr- portrays himself, I think, is, is someone with that 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 seems to have a lot of integrity. Yeah, um, and mm. I th- I think Twitch has lost lost a big creator. Sure, yeah, mm. sure. So no Brad, so now to contrast this lifestyle, mm. uh, you've got you've got Ninja on the one hand gaming all day, mm-hmm. uh, sitting in probably in one place for hours on end. Red Bull made him a gaming like studio. It's incredible. I've wow. heard about that. It's insane. Wow, there's a lot of lights yes, coming into awesome. that. So I, I want to just contrast a, a lifestyle here. Now everyone here knows the actor Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. So I was yeah. doing a bit of reading this week on this guy's um sh- uh his daily schedule and I thought this is a bit insane but like coming from a, a, an older generation firstly which is maybe unbeknownst This is Mark Wahlberg coming from the older generation. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, no, not ju- me. just making sure. Not me. Yes. Um just just I just read about um his his I just want to get open up his daily workouts here. <laughs> Um, daily workout. No, no, it's his his daily routine. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Um, just to like, we got this new kind of lifestyle of ninja, mm, mm. um, gaming, sitting in a room most of sure. the day, and I want to contrast it to another celebrity. Yeah. You know, so this is Mark. I'm just gonna read it. Read it out. Okay. Mark go. Wahlberg's uh, daily schedule: two thirty a.m. He wakes up. <laughs> Wait, every so, so, day. A.m. A.m. A- in a- the a.m. A- Black Eyed Peas lyrics, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's okay. beyond me. Yeah. Oh, you know? uh, yeah. It's you, rock you, for people who don't like rock. It's rap <laughs> for people who don't <laughs> like rap. <laughs> bro, it's all the Gen X and millennials who oh, listen man. to the P's, bro. The Gen Z, you guys, you guys know Kendrick. Anyway, so two two thirty a.m. wake up. At quarter to three a.m. he prays. Okay, three fifteen a.m. it's his first breakfast. So okay. okay, first breakfast. Right, it's his breakfast number one. Okay, keep going. Then at three forty a.m. that's twenty to four in the morning, yes. all the way to quarter past five in the morning. Yes. he gyms. Okay. Okay. Then at 5.30, it's the second breakfast. Called the post, after, after post-workout yeah, meal. Yeah, yeah. Then at 6 a.m., he showers. Straight after the shower, he goes and plays a game of golf. Okay. Wait, so he just casually goes to play a game of golf yep. every day? Yep. I reckon some of it's maybe driving range work. Uh, some of it might be, you know, just playing two holes. Karen, you played golf once. You're talking like you play golf every day. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I've, yeah, I haven't played golf that much. I, when I was in school, I played a bit. But golf is like a six hour sport if you suck. Yeah. Like me. That's I, why I'm struggling to understand how he's playing golf for half an hour. I, I really think it's, it's like a he goes to the thing. driving range okay. and he oh, just shoots, that, yeah. shoots a few. Then he has another snack at 8 a.m. So that's what time I'm having my breakfast. He's yeah, on his third meal of the day. No, yeah. Yeah. Um, then he's got this recovery that he does at uh, 9 30. Then at 10.30, he's got another snack. A bit, I'm, I'm not going to go into much detail further. Yeah, there's a lot. But, but what I want, the point I want to get to is he works out a hell of a lot. Mm. He does it, all his personal stuff, in hours where his family's not awake. Also that after 3.30 a.m., after he's fetched the kids from school, 
So you mean 3.30 p.m.? Three, sorry, 3.30 yeah, okay. p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a weird school if it knocked weird off. Weird school, boarding school. He then has just family time and workout time again so that he can socialize with his family. Mm. But then this is the ridiculous thing. Here we go. He goes to bed at 7.30 p.m. Bruh. Uh-uh. Nah. Nah. Bruh. Like, uh, some In your early days of work, you only get home at 7.30 p.m. I mean, so. na- that's realistic. I mean, if you look at the amount of work time that, listen, I mean, it is Mark Wahlberg, but he's doing an hour's worth of, okay, two hours, three hours worth of actual work. Yeah. Of like work calls and stuff, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like that's also obviously when he's not acting. And no, true, true. Because yeah, yeah. that'll be a full day of filming. But yeah, this is this is a, a really extreme schedule. It's So that, that's what I want to know for all our listeners out there. Is this is this an extreme schedule? Does this have merit or is this absolutely pointless? Sure. But t- Ty, do you think like you would have the discipline to like do something like this? No. But you, like, well, you were going on to me about... Yo, bro, it's so cool waking up early. It, it is that. really nice waking yeah. up early. I think you, you get you get a jump start on the day, but waking up early without healthy eating and exercise mm. just makes you pretty depressed. Mm. It's like lame. Mm. Yeah, no, um, it is. Yeah, I'd rather be sleeping in. I think you must feel very accomplished when yeah. you have this type of Absolutely. schedule. Um, I think it it might, you know, he's, he's a family man, so he doesn't really have much. Yeah, I'm sure he's got an awesome social life, but in a day like this, he doesn't really need that because his family is his social mm. time, but mm. that's that's pretty insane. But like, still, like, just you know, like, like you you would feel accomplished at first, right? Maybe for the first half a year, first month. But when it becomes your new normal, would you still feel as accomplished? Wouldn't you want to like do the next do, thing? Do the well, next maybe thing? it started at five a.m. and that wasn't accomplished enough, and he moved it to four a.m. Ben, it's still producer half- Ben, would you wake up at two thirty in gym? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you complain when you have to like wake up at like half past six, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just having to move my schedule up just sucks. <laughs> you know, it's just like half an hour less of sleep or whatever. <laughs> See, what I love that you're doing right is you have a schedule at least. I I don't. Ah, uh, you're a student, bruh. Yeah, but like I'm still, like like the, the amount of times I'm late for class just because the bed's so much nicer. I hope your dad's winter. listening to this, bruh. <laughs> so let's work it out. How many hours of sleep is he? If he's going to bed, let's say he falls asleep at eight. Yeah, because he sleeps for hour. six hours, yeah. six, six and, and, six and, and hours. a half hours. How many? Let, let's go around the room, Ben. How many hours? I've asked you this question already, but before, but how, how many hours of sleep are you getting on average? Um, around eight, but I'm starting to realize that I don't need that much anymore. Okay, but yeah, around eight. Ezra, you eight to ten. I do about eight and a half to nine. See, I'm on six. Wow. If I if I if I get less than six, I can't function. Okay. So okay. so I've, I've 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 seen studies where it's like you need about seven to eight hours. Some yeah. some people are anomalies. So like there's people like who are literally considered night owls. Like I think like mm. a US president was that, whatever. Like they just come alive at night. Sure. And they do their best work at night. Sure, sure. Um which US president? Which US some old US president. It was like Not history. Trump, right? It was like a weird story. I don't okay. know. Okay. Trump just, you know, the Coca-Cola mm. keeps him alive. No, right? no, no. <laughs> but like guys, in Trump's defense, right? He's like what, seventy? He, that is just seventy one, right? He's actually wow. old. Yeah. The, the only person older than him is like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Hectic. I can't believe he's seventy one. Yeah, I no, he's, he's looking that. good. Mm. Like, like you, you heard his um, doctor, right? The doctor looks really weird. It looks like like long hair, and <laughs> like like one of those doctors that would be like, right, bloodletting and LSD. Let's go. <laughs> no, but the um, like the, the doctor's like, no wait, it was the Surgeon General of the United States, oh and he was saying, Mr. President. If he didn't live on McDonald's the whole time, he would probably live to like 200. Wow. Easy. Wow. Because that guy That's incredible. is still looking very good. Wow. He's always on point, bro. And, and he's tall. Is he, he is tall, yeah. Uh, he's he's extreme. Have, have, you, have you seen his son? Uh, that, guy, that, that kid is like... Oh, I saw him once on The Apprentice. I used to watch that show. No, 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 no. <laughs> the youngest son. Oh, no. He's like 12, 13. Yeah. He's almost as tall as his dad. He's taller than pretty much everyone in this room. Wow. I saw that someone made like someone in Japan made a manga about the sun. I would I would get into like it. I, I'm like, I'm like really? I saw one of the one of the pages. And I was like, this is a cool comic, and I want to read it, but I couldn't find it anymore. I think it was like a spoof. Well, this is a great segue into the next topic. Is oh, that I want to introduce Trump's trade war. Oh, now, Ezra, you the the fundy on this stuff. Yeah, I, I should have read more up more on the doc, but basically, there's more tariffs on China. More? Yes. Wait, wait. What did China do now? Or is this just Trump going to the next level? No, so what's weird is that they're negotiating. They're trying to get stuff done. Um, but they're just taking it to the next level. And at the moment, it's kind of becoming a tit-for-tat type of thing. Yeah. So it's a big problem for the global economy. 
Because if China manufactures a whole bunch of things, yes, and you know a lot of U.S. companies use China, uh, but now a lot of the um, products that they make um, in China is now having like very large tariffs on it. Okay, but what? Because Trump Trump tweeted out yes that uh, China not living up to a previous promise yes and that's why there's now tariffs on them yes. so what was that previous promise or was this just Trump trying to so run his, his thing through the through Twitter again? So I'm I'm not sure, but what's weird is that. How can you do this while sitting in negotiations? Are you trying to strong arm them? But then, you know, like, just as your negotiations are getting anywhere, you're like, cool, more tariffs. Is it a political tool? Is it that um, China is being used as a political economic scapegoat? Or is it actually genuine concerns? Because there, 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 there was, like, going back... Or Twitter paying Trump per, treat, to, per tweet. No, 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 no. But, like, going back a bit, there was a very large trade deficit between China and the US. Huge. And that's a big problem for like economic things. Ty, you would probably know more doing a BCom and all. Mm. Um, but then, so obviously there was some need for talks warranted and like some strong arming tactics. But you know, when, when, when what you're doing is starting to affect everyone and like hitting closer to home the South African economy, yeah. mm -hmm. which yeah. is mm -hmm. an emerging market as well, yeah. Yeah. it causes a lot of problems. But like, if you actually look at global economics right now with Brexit. I think Japan and South Korea have a bit of a trade war going on. Um, US, China. It's not a great time to be... Mm. To be doing this. Well, to do like... What, can, I, can I ask, what is the latest on Brexit? I saw something... I've, I've been seeing a bit of the news, but I'm not that well have, averse I, on stuff. Have you seen the new Prime Minister? Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson. He's basically <laughs> the European Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so history lesson, right? This guy, he was the EU correspondent for I think the Daily Mail or something. And he was known to write what people consider to be absolute lies. <laughs> so one, one of his big headlines was that, hey, um, the EU's waging war on the UK's favorite prawn chips. And like, it's like <laughs> stupid headlines like that. And many people attribute um, like, you know, the sentiment around wanting to leave the EU to some of his writings. Really? And then... Um, he was in gov like you know like after being fired for writing weird stuff, um, found his way into government. He was one of the lead people in wanting to leave the EU. He drove around in that big bus, and some people <laughs> say that there was like an absolute lie on that bus about like you know like paying the EU and everything. Um, so he finally found his way to the prime minister's prime minister's seat. And people aren't sure what his plan of action is gonna be. Well, all our members on Top Gear. That you see. <laughs> Clarkson used to just Clarkson used to shred this guy, and even when he had him on the show, he did have him on the show once, right? Because he was the he was the transport minister for a while. Yes, right? yes, yeah. yes, and yes. then foreign secretary for a while. Sure. And then he was the mayor of London. He was right? the mayor of London. He got caught on a zip line in 2012, <laughs> so he literally got stuck on a zip line. But this guy is probably one of the most charming people ever. So he knows that he can play the fool. Sure. So he's stuck on a zip line. At the end of the day, he won that. So what I mean by that is that. It was probably some of the best publicity for him. Wow. He's just like, hi, how's it going? Played the victim. He, he said something that many would consider maybe like, you know, racist or xenophobic in a way. But his charisma let him get away with it? Yes. No. So the, the wow. media was outside his house asking for a statement. And then he comes out looking all disheveled and offers them tea. So he's like, <laughs> I'm not going to comment on anything, but would you like some tea? <laughs> and then they keep asking him and he just says, but would you like some tea? <laughs> what did they do in the end? They took the tea. Yep. And he got away with it. So he is now prime minister. Yes. So a, a so lot of people Theresa think May's he looks like a fool. No, Theresa May is gone. A lot of people say he looks like a fool, but he's very smart and mm. obviously plays Well, to get fool. to that level in life, I think you've got to be smart. Yeah, prime mm. minister, meeting yeah. the queen. So I want to I jump topics now, completely in the opposite direction. Cool. I want to talk about possibly right, what's right now. Okay, first you would have noticed in every podcast, we have a little section on sport. Uh, to yes. you guys listening and of the, of the sport topics I think it's mostly dominated by, by Formula 1 I wonder why oh, it's because we've got two big well possibly mm. two other big Formula 1 fans coming through with mm. producer Ben and I, I can't even watch big like, is. Formula 1 because like I don't have anything to watch it on no, you yeah. just gotta you gotta go to the Amazon right Prime, Prime right? Amazon Prime I'm, shouts I'm out get, get on is it live. there can we confirm if we it's can. there I checked. I checked. we checked we checked yeah okay, checked before. okay. anyway so I want to do a bit of as we know, this is I bought a statistic two podcasts a, uh, ago. The second most watched sport in sure. the world sure. throughout the through the That's whole season yeah. is Formula One. Yeah. It beats Wimbledon 
Um, it beats Soccer World Cup. Whenever the What's World the Cup. What's the first? UEFA Champions League, surprisingly oh. enough. Okay, yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Though. Yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah, that I also said that in the previous podcast, uh, if you weren't listening. Oh, no, I probably wasn't. <laughs> so I want to talk about Formula 1 because, just to give context, there's been a lull in one of the world's most precious, like, loved sports um, for a while. And it's just because it's a, become a car-dominated sport. So when there's a good car, whoever's driving the car is going to do well. Mm. Um, and now all of a sudden, through the ranks has come this 21-year-old, Max Verstappen, who was 19 when he won his first Grand Prix. Sure. Um, and now he's all of a sudden shaking things up. Mm. He is beating Hamilton in a car that's not as good as Hamilton. Mm-hmm. He is destroying the Ferraris in a car that's probably just on par with the Ferraris. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, he's a bit of he's not the he's not popular in terms of his niceness. He's he's sure. a, a bit of an arrogant young kid. He's, yeah. he's going to push if, like after a race if someone hacked him off, he'll go and push them. <laughs> so he's he's a bit of that. But all of a sudden, someone who was not liked by the sporting franchise is now becoming the yeah. darling and the young yeah. up-and-coming kid. He's becoming, should I say it, is this you know, wrong? Maybe the next Etienne Senna? Maybe the next Schumacher? How, how old is he? He's 21, 21 now. Yeah. Oh, flip. Wow. He's five years younger than me. Wow, he's a year older than me. Yeah, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Oh, I, think, no. I think he's the third youngest F1 driver to get a pole position, which was this last weekend. Now, that's an interesting t- statistic because someone of his uh, quality and mm. having won seven Grand Prix, eight Grand Prix, is it now? Yeah. Um, he he has only won got his pole this year. Yes, you know, first first pole, which yeah. is strange. Unfortunately, if you watch the race mm. um, this last weekend, he led the whole race start to finish, yeah. except for like the last five laps. They put him on a strategy that was not so great. So Lewis Hamilton's strategy was meant that he was he ended up on better tires in the last twelve yeah. laps, and he was taking off two seconds a lap from Verstappen. Um, and eventually Hamilton won the race, but now a race before that. You know where it was raining. Um, sure. Verstappen just controlled the whole field. Um, so just technically is like a better driver. Yeah. And also, well, how many times ta- he, he pitted? How many times he pitted six times and he won the race. That's okay. twenty what's, what's, seconds. So what's the significance pit? of you pit once normally in a race? You pit once or twice? Yes. Okay, but everyone okay. in this race because of the rain. Five, so what? Were they, were they, oh, okay. So uh, it's not like they stick in less fuel and then they get him to pit. There's more. no fueling in in the pits. Yeah. So they haven't oh, okay. for the last ten years. They haven't done fueling. Okay. And then just quickly for anyone who wouldn't know, how many laps? 71? Yes, 71. For the, for the Shortened. For the Hockenheim. For the for the Hockenheim, there was... Oh, the, the, the Grand Prix before, the German Grand Prix, there was 50-something because of the rain. Okay. They shortened it. Okay, cool. I they, understand okay. a bit more now. Yeah. In, anyway, this is it. Is that Hamilton, he's won... Out of the past five, six Grand Prix, he's won five. Okay. Mm. He's about to break a lot of Schumacher's records. Mm. And Schumacher is known... Schumacher and Senna are the like... Yeah. The, the jewels of Formula One. Yeah, everyone had the Lego set with Michael Schumacher. Absolutely. I was a big fan. I still, I still love him. Mm. Um, anyway, the point I'm making is that Verstappen in a race that was that was more technically demanding on the driver mm. dominated and Hamilton finished 12th, which Flip. is unheard of. Yeah. I mean, your, your randoms are finishing 12th. Yeah. Yeah. Vettel started last on the grid. That's 20th. He finished second, which is sure. also unheard of. Yeah. You know, so take your hat off to him. But now this is the question I want to raise and we can discuss for the next minute or two. Is that is Verstappen the next Schumacher? Or is this rivalry between Hamilton and Verstappen going to be the next breakthrough in the sport? And Israel, feel free to comment. I know you don't yeah, watch yeah, this no, sport, like, feel, feel free. I'm, I'm just smiling and nodding okay. this side. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to say I feel like there's still a lot of racing in Hamilton. Okay. I don't know what the future looks like with Mercedes. Yeah. But one thing's for certain is that whatever Red Bull's doing with Honda, mm. and if they're from, from what I've read, is that Verstappen is still going to be with Red, Red Bull. Bull for a while. Mm. Um, and and I'm saying now next two years maybe. Yes. Um, I don't think he's going to jump ship anytime soon. Yeah. But the way Honda has been developing the engine in the Red Bull car. And we knowing that the chassis and the the aero the aero can have some work, the but the, but the chassis is it's, is on point. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the next season, um, I don't know what's going to happen when the rule changes happen in twenty twenty one. Yeah, but this next season, I think there's going to be a really nice battle. Okay, in the front. which we haven't had for what? No, thirteen so, years. Sure, in the sport. So sure. just chiming yeah. in, it sounds like like from what you guys have been saying that, um, like you know the cars are becoming more and more similar. So would you say mm. it's like a new golden age in the skill of the drivers? Yeah. Like sure. with with the circuits that we're going, it's more technically inclined. So like you know, like True. with the like with the narrow ones and with the so so since two thousand and nine, yeah. 
okay? 2009 to this year, there hasn't been, the cars have been not similar. So the driver just gets a better car mm-hmm. yeah. and you win. So you yeah. hope you get a contract yes. with someone who... Exactly. Correct. But yeah. now, as what you're saying, yeah. the cars are becoming maybe more meshing into mm. a similar, you know, mm. uh, how do you say, a similar, whatever the word is, that they're becoming a mm. bit more competitive. Yeah. Um, and that's making the sport now more yeah. exciting. So would you say that, you know, like before that with why... Schumacher was so great and that other guy you mentioned who I don't remember his name. Well, Schumacher didn't have the best car for a lot of his things. Yes. But then like, so my question is back then, was it that the cars were also more similar? So it was up to the driver. Yes. So now, now that a lot of money is being pumped in and rules and regulations, Mm. we can get more exciting driving. Exactly. And and I think, I think it's, it's symptomatic of looking at the, the mid, um, the mid range of the pack. You're looking at McLaren, you're looking at Renault, you're looking at Haas and you're looking at um, uh, what's the other team? Giovinazzi and Rakitin's team. Sauber. Those, those four teams, which is eight cars, the, the midfield is so tight. I did it, that. Yeah, they're all in similar it's points. so close. Yeah. Mm. If, any, if anybody's like a few split seconds below, mm. they just take the lead. In yeah. the, in the, so, so that's where yeah. McLaren is, is doing well. So I think what, what, what Ezra is saying is that maybe next season, a lot of the cars from the midfield might get more upgrades. A lot of them using Honda engines yep. might be even more competitive in the next year. Yep. Um, so I think it's going to be an exciting and season. I, and go Honda. What a reintroduction sure. to, like many years Honda have been out of the sport yeah. and they're like the main uh, Asian component to Formula One. Sure. Yeah. And like, all like, of a sudden now... Do you, do you ever like recognize an Asian company for like the quality of the engines? Sure. You see. So sure. I think this like could even be... Even I know that. I'm not this, a car person. Th- this could be great for the Asian market yeah, for Formula yeah. One. And who knows, maybe Honda will become like the... Honda's Korean or the Japanese? Japanese. Japanese. Okay, Japanese. Japanese. Okay. Hyundai is Korean. Hyundai is Korean. Yeah. Okay, now I was um, trying to think in terms of... So I just, yeah. on the Japan note, can yeah. we, last bit of sport yeah. before we go to the next topic. I'm really happy about Japan hosting the, the Rugby World Cup. Awesome. They're hosting a lot of things close together. Olympics next year? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And that's costing them a hell of a lot of money, but that's another discussion. I just want to see all the Nintendo... <gasps> The Just opening <laughs> ceremony for be the Olympics. Epic. When wow. your prime minister pops out of a green tube oh. at the end of the last Olympics, dressed as Mario. Shouts wow. out to Abe, bro. You know it's going wow. to be good. Wow. No, mm. I'm really... Uh, one of the things I'm excited for is that a sport that's been so Western, and by Western, yes. I don't mean America, I mean uh, European. Yes, and European, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And by European, English. English. Mm. And all of their colleagues. New Zealand, Australia. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. the word is more white sport. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, Asia are I'm taking more. it up. Yeah. All the South Africans and Australian professional rugby players are actually going to Japan in the offseason and they get paid well. They're paying a lot of money. Yeah. And let's go back to 2015 World Cup. Sure. Who beat South Africa in the group stages? Oh, my word. Yeah. Japan. Oh, tough. Japan. Japan. Was, was, wasn't the joke that everybody was wearing like um, beat, beat South Africa underwear? Really? Yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every every player. Well, and really? No, I'm being dead serious. Like they all. And there the was same. their goal for four years, hey, to yes. beat South Africa. Yes. You right. know, they, they they were prepping for that match. Oh, I think two years because when the draw came out, they wanted to. It was two years before the World yeah. Cup. They wanted to beat South Africa. This is the interesting what thing. What did we though. do to them? Shame. Two thousand and seven. Yeah. We won the Rugby World Cup. Sure. Yes, Jake yeah. White was the head coach and who was the assistant coach? Yeah, Eddie Jones. Yeah, Eddie Jones. And who was the coach of Japan when they beat South Africa? Coach them. Eddie, Eddie Jones. Jones. Okay. And now Eddie Jones is coaching England oh. Oh, in this no. World Cup. So I think it must be an interesting thing. I don't want to really talk about the sport. Yeah. I just want to talk about how like, excited I am for Japan to yes. host it. How many South th- Africans are there in the Japanese team, though? That would be a good stat. I I think there's one that I know of. You, you probably find there's going to be... There's a lot of The team's probably going to be 50% Japanese, 50% foreign. Correct. At yeah. the last World Cup, it was about 50-50. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the, the the front pack, the front row pack is normally Japanese. Yeah, yeah. and then your fly half, um, you know, those guys mm. are normally f- expats. Yeah, mm. the any sumo wrestlers in the, uh, the well, the, the front row pack, the props, you know, they, right? they are known that would for. be um, intimidating. <laughs> <Yeah. say those. laughs> um, uh, okay, so let's just go through the hosting. They're okay. hosting the World Cup. Yes. Then it's the Olympics. Yeah. Mm. Then it's. Well, they got Formula One at the same time as the Rugby, as the, World, as Cup. The rugby World Cup. They right? also do do sevens as well. Oh, yes. The Tokyo Sevens. Is is huge. Like, sevens is probably like arguably the... Sevens is bigger w- than the rugby. Bigger right? event. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because it's just a good format. You make a day mm. out of it. And shout out, Cape Town Sevens is voted the best Sevens tournament oh. in the whole calendar year. We do our best. That's yeah. nice. 
And in South Africa, it's, bo- it's voted the best live experience. Wow. Mm. Well, like, like you make an entire day out of it. You get a ticket. You go. Mm. You know, you have a draw. You Three get days. your food. Three days. Or well, two days. Pack, like you would yeah. go to all of those Yeah, I know. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. And you get to watch the whole world play rugby. Yeah. What else was Japan hosting? I'm, I'm trying to think now. It is the Olympics, but there was something else as well. Some gaming thing as well? Like, Probably. international sport thing. I can't remember. Now. Definitely not cricket. <laughs> <laughs> they had to do the World Cup as well. Just while they were at it. Sure. sure. Have they not have they not hosted a soccer with Japan? I think they have. have, they have. In conjunction with Korea, right? It was like them and Korea oh, flip, hosted yeah, together. Was the thing. final was in Seoul, wasn't it? It was that in year. Seoul. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think they do anything with Korea now. <laughs> anyway, that's a trade war. Yeah, so I want to go to um, a, a topic that I find maybe quite hilarious and I don't want to offend people out there. But there's a flat earther. The earth is round, damn it. There's a flat Fight earther me chat. who is going to launch himself uh, 5,000 feet. Is it a quick math? How many meters is that? That's about 1,500 meters, 1,700 um, meters. Hey, Siri. 5,000 feet in meters. Let's do this. Siri's not working. <laughs> damn it, Siri. Well, I think it's about close to 1,600 um, meters. Oh, that is close. Um, Ezra, for your... Um, i just let you know I used Google. <laughs> um, it was 1,500 right. meters. Tarin, the math's on you. Wow. So, yes. just one, one more time? Sick brag. 1,524. 1,524 meters. So, he's going to launch himself, okay, that amount of meters into the air. And then what? Just free land. Is, is he trying to see the curvature I, of the I, earth? I think there's parachutes. What is his, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm parachutes. just imagining all the flat earthers like, no, 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 don't. What are you doing? <laughs> like, like freaking out. Like, please, please, no, 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 no. Like, little do, ne- do they know. He'll is, he gonna hit, is he going to hit the bulb? Because you know flat earthers believe there's a dome. <laughs> so is, is this a sacrificial... Um, <laughs> is he expecting to I'm gonna read. I'm going to read... Uh, let me read up a bit on it. They, 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 they get him to like radio in. It's like, so what is it? It's like, no, it's a donut <laughs> chip. <laughs> okay, first it's a homemade steam rocket. Steam? Steam. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, no. Well, that's what the, that's what the article I'm, I'm headline says. I'm looking at says. the picture here. This guy is branding over his jumpsuit and on this thing. Somebody's paying for this. Wow. Juan, so, Juan it is Polo. being recorded by the Science Channel. <laughs> oh, really? Whoa. Okay, okay, so we can live watch this guy kill himself. Yeah. Whoa. Wow, that, that, that got sorry, dark. Sorry, sorry. That got really dark. His name is Mark Hughes. Yeah. But on his, um, on his branding, yeah. he's got the name, the, the most common Mexican name, Juan. Okay, and then Polo. Well, like one way Apollo. or another, he's going to find out. <laughs> Apollo Juan, <one>, bro. <laughs> the truth. Anyway. But also, what, what's the what's the two emojis he's using on that rocket? It's the, oh, the peach emoji and, and the, the eggplant. And the eggplant emoji. It's so suggestive. What could that mean? I have no idea. Is, okay, so I want to know, is the point of his jump to prove whether or not the Earth is round? Um, so, is he going to snap some photos while he's up there? So, like, even if, what, he takes photos and you can see a slight curve, they're just going to say, no, no, that's just because the Earth's a disk. That's why. Yeah, but the, this is the thing is, what is 1,500 meters going to prove? Okay, so, an airplane flies at 9,000 meters. Yes, but also in an airplane, even there. No, wait, what? An airplane flies, non, th- airplane flies higher than Everest, which th- is... 30,000 feet. Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> the, the thing is, at, 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 at that height, you should still be able to see some sort of a curve. Okay, I just want to make a point. I'm reading the article now. This guy is 62 years old. <laughs> oh, so he's, he's lived a good life. He's, a, no. he's good. Um, he has survived. So there have been some some successful launches, um, and he has survived the trip via, <laughs> landing via parachute. Okay. Now this is the this is the best this is the best quote. No fuel cost. It's water. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, but this guy is in 2030, bro. Right? He's like living that life. No, but like he's clearly smart oh. enough to build this thing. I'm like, no, it's impressive absolutely. nonetheless. So, huge is. Huge. 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 <laughs> Again, he's going he's gonna to take off from the mobile platform. Another unique aspect from the homebrewed launch setup. In 2018, he launched from the back of a motorhome <laughs> that... He bought off Craigslist. <laughs> Craigslist, sorry. <laughs> Craigslist. That's so ghetto, though. It's like SpaceX, really? you know, trying to um, decrease the cost of a launch. Mm. They just need to be launching from the back of a motorhome. Oh, man, this guy. I mean, he's just, you know what? He believes in something. Yeah. And mm. Mm. that motivation, the amount of money that's going into this. Well, that and he's old. And what else is he supposed to do? I'm just, I keep picturing the flat earth is <laughs> getting triggered. <laughs> you know, try, trying to think of, because what they do is they will try and disprove you. Yeah. So I want to yeah. see them attack this poor old man 
as he comes back from the land, he'd be like, guys, we messed up. No, he's, he's, he's a double agent. It's, he's working for NASA. <laughs> I imagine he's going to come back and he's going to be like enlightened. He's like, ah. he's, come down. he's like, guys, I know the truth. I, I, I have been <laughs> revealed the truth. It has been and they're going to just, me. listen, I'll, I'll give the flat earthers one thing. Yeah. Like I, I did a deep dive a while back on YouTube. And come I went, on, Pete. They all, no, 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 no. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not justifying anything they believe, but. There are these videos of astronauts in the space station online yeah. where they they film them for like news networks, like to yeah. interview them. Yeah. Yeah. And they they are convinced that they are suspended by these um cords, like by these cords. Okay. Now I don't know why, but every time they slow it down yeah. and they show the motion of someone like like flipping upside down or whatever, it looks like they have these tethers to them that they use in like Hollywood for special effects or whatever. And it seems so convincing. Yeah. I don't believe in anything, but but that I'm I'm like, okay, I I yeah. kind of I think, see <laughs> I think we've all taken a deep dive. I I did I've done yeah. the same. I was like, okay, let me let me pretend I'm convinced that the <laughs> earth is flat and I'm going to go do all the research. But the problem is you got to create a whole new world. A whole new uh, no, world. No, no, almost a whole new lie. And you fantastic I don't want to point it, of view. That, that, just, just to prove this point. So I, I did a deep dive as well and I went to mm. go watch a YouTube clip. Yeah. Now, the, if, you, if you know flat earth theory, they believe the world is actually, it's a disc yeah. and there's it, a dome that covers it. Okay. So it's like a glass dome. So, so, like, you, you can't actually what, get to space? Or no, yeah, there's no... Yeah, and yeah. the sun and the moon are inside the dome. Oh, okay. okay. That makes perfect sense. So, they sense, sent yeah. a rocket, okay? A little rocket with a camera attached. Okay, these are the, the real... Because all the other rockets are fake. Yeah. Um, with a camera attached to the top, just they launch it into the stratosphere as far as they could. And after two or three minutes of this thing just going perpendicularly up at high speeds, you just hear this... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. No, 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 I've seen the video. You've seen the video. Seen the video. How, how, how do you even have like? But this is my sound question. At is, that altitude? Oh, oh, this question is: a rocket traveling that speed, how does it not just blow up when it hits the dome? Oh, oh, like, like, it just kind goes, of like a it just goes <laughs> clink, and then falls straight back down slowly. <laughs> and so that's the authentic rocket that goes up in space. Okay, that yeah, no, everything safe. else is fake. Yeah. But um, if you guys want to really deep dive into why the world is round, go read a, about a guy called Aristentes. He was in Alexandria time in oh, Egypt. he did all the math stuff. He did the it? maths and he wow. pro proved that because there's a shadow at this point in the world and there's no shadow at this point in the world at the exact same time. Uh, that makes sense. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. But the, like, just with, with, with that whole idea and believing that, it's kind of like the only way you can prove to someone who's utterly convinced is taking them there into space, but they'll probably still find a way to yes. re refute it. They like, drugged me. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it like I'm that. hallucinating. But like, like it, it, it's, it's weird to think, like, how do you, like, end up, like, you know, taking everyone up to space and, like, showing them that it's actually mm. like this? Mm. Or how do you explain the ocean to somebody who's never seen the ocean before? It's like, oh, no, wow. no, sure, I swear, sure. it's like a lake, wow. but there's a lot of water. Wow. <laughs> to go to the next topic, uh, quickly, uh, before we need to end today's podcast, um... You know, we there was, we're going to talk about the the cat, the new cats trailer. But you know, instead of doing that, Peter has a has a great story to tell us. So it on made cats. Yeah, you know, when you when you mentioned it, it made me think of my mon my Tuesday morning. I was on my way to Citrus Dal, where the farmers are. I had an inspection for work. Yeah, went in there and met with the lady I was going to meet with. They had some risk manager on the property, and he was mentioning to her that there's a cat problem. <laughs> On the farm. A cat problem. So I was like, okay, cool. And he's like, oh, the cats are like causing a nuisance and they're peeing everywhere and they're like <laughs> reproducing or whatever. So I was like, okay. He's like, he's going to kill the cat. And I was like, oh. Is he curiosity? Yeah. So, so, so I was like, okay. And I mean, I'm just going on with my work. Me and the, the lady I was with, we, we moved on to this separate section of the farm where we're going to do our work. And I'm not joking to you. This guy is out there with his rifle. <laughs> oh, damn. Word. And I was okay. like, okay, so I'm trying to see where the cat is. And I'm telling you, I thought it was going to be like this mangy, like garb, like trash yeah. cat. Yeah. It was the most beautiful. No. no. It looked like a pedigree cat. No. Oh. And I was like, oh, this cat is so awesome. I wanted to take it home. I wanted to take it home. It looked like one of those Siamese, like oh. white cats with the blue eyes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this guy like points his hunting no, rifle no, to this no. thing. And I'm like, I tell the lady I'm with, I'm like, don't look, don't look. You're going to hear the shot now. Just keep walking, keep walking. And he shoots. I look back. 
he missed the cat. <gasps> oh, and you're not going to okay. get the yeah. cat again now. No, no, no. He shoots again. He hits the cat, injures the cat. Oh, no. no. Doesn't like actually kill, kill the cat. On the third shot, he kills the cat. So you watched. I had to watch because I oh, didn't want horrific. the lady I was with to be traumatized. So guys, oh, now you're traumatized. Listeners, this isn't actually a funny story. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> you promised a funny story. <laughs> My bad. Mom, thought, please don't listen. I just thought it was Lindsay just like too. the most insane thing. But then the, the lady was like, that's the plot line for you. Like, you know, <laughs> I was like, oh, there's some old school, like, because there's no like yeah. SPCA there. I don't know, what so else like, are you supposed to do if oh, it's a nuisance? Felt so bad. But d- d- doesn't everyone want to do that to the new cats trailer though? Oh, Ooh, the the cringe I watch. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna watch it for T Swizzle. <laughs> Taylor Swift <laughs> yes. in the cat suit. But what about Specific. Jason Derulo? What is he doing? Derulo? Dude. Is this like Do you think Jason Derulo is gonna announce his name? And every scene that he's in, like he does with every song? <laughs> so it's like it's like okay, cool, Jason and action. Jason, Jason Derulo! <laughs> It's like, but why did you do that? It's a cool cut. Let's do that again. No, the farmer pops out and just shoots him three times. <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell, we are done sure. um, with our fourth podcast. Yeah, um, please make sure to mm. leave a like, subscribe, comment on your favorite part. Yeah. Um, Tyron had that question. What was the question again? Is Mark Wahlberg's schedule absolute nonsense or is there merit? Mm. Hit us up In on Twitter. Comments, hit yeah. us up on Facebook. I don't chase, check Facebook. It's fine. Um, Instagram. Instagram is fun. Uh-huh. Um, Thanks if you see Jesse thing. on the streets, you know, ask him about us. We're great Merch. guys. And ask him why he's on the streets and not in his car. <laughs> <laughs> why are they in the road? Why do they walk in the road? <laughs> <laughs> bruh. Yes, bruh. bruh. Uh, no, I only watch uh, UEFA Champions. I don't support local. <laughs> My name is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Love you lots. Um, keep it real. Love. Spotify. <laughs> Twitter. No, no, sorry. Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn, YouTube. Obtuse, Mama Goose, Chocolate Shake. Wow, really? Is that <laughs> Wait, what you want? <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, bye. We're signing off now. This is barely independent. Bye.